Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Sunday, May 5th, 2024. May God be with you today and may He guide you as you seek to do His will. Our reading today comes to us from Colossians chapter 3, reading from verse 12 to 15. And it says, Put on therefore as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. Forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. Above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for a portion of his word. We are encouraged this morning that as the elect of God, as his chosen people, as the people that he loves so dearly, that we should practice a few things. Now, what are those few things? He gives an example. He says that we must be merciful. So we must show mercy to those around us. It says we are to be kind. Kindness is something that we need to practice. We must be what? Humble. We must be meek and patient, long-suffering. So in other words, we need to possess the fruits of the Spirit. And we know what those fruits are in Galatians 5. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, joy, and so on. It says that we must learn to forgive one another. When we have a disagreement with each other, we must be quick to forgive. We must be quick to resolve that situation so that we are not at enmity with each other. And I know many of us, we struggle to forgive. But forgiveness is a necessary requirement of anybody, especially those who are walking with God. It's not an option. Because if you choose not to forgive each other, then I'm afraid you won't get any forgiveness of God. And what did the Bible say? That we should do unto others, basically, what we would want to be done unto us. And so it's same as, oh God, forgive us when we mess up or when we offend him. In the same way, we should learn to forgive each other of the wrong that we may have committed against each other. And I know you may say it is easier said than done, but is it really? Because the God that we serve, he promises us to give us the, the aid that we need in order to do the things that we need to do. So if you are weak and you need strength, then God can give you that strength in which you need. And so, if you said that it's difficult for you to forgive, all you need to do is to go to God and say, God, my heart is heavy and I'm having a challenge forgiving this person. But I know that I need to forgive them and I know that every time I refuse to forgive and the longer I take to forgive this person, I am only endangering my soul. If we understand really what is at stake as it relates to our soul salvation, then we won't make excuses. And so, yes, we love to bank on the fact that we are human. That may be our reality, but we are not going to depend on our humanity to do the things that we need to do spiritually. Do you get that? So it means therefore that we draw our strength from God. 
We are not looking to self, but we will look to God who is able to, to give us and to enable us to do and to walk in his righteousness. Amen? So you can forgive. I can forgive. You just need to step out and do it. But forgiveness, it is a element of love. It is a child of love. And so it must spring from that well of love. And that is why I always say, maybe there's a good reason why the first fruit of the Spirit that is identified in the verse is love. Because without love, the others can't stand on their own. Because think about it. If you don't love somebody, are you going to be patient with them? If you don't love somebody, are you going to be kind to them? And the list goes on. So love is the bond that holds everything together. And that is why it says that above all of these things. So above all that was listed earlier, we need to have love. We need to have charity because that is perfection. Love is perfection. And love, it, has, it, it shows no favor. It is no respecter of person. It doesn't pick and choose who to love and who not to love. The principle of love applies to every and anybody. What do I mean? It means therefore you can't love some people and hate some people. That is why love is perfect. I don't mean pretend love. I mean love. What is love? God is love. Amen? And so we are admonished that we must allow the peace of God to rule in our hearts. Some of us, we are too antagonizing. We are too aggressive. We need to be more humble. We need to be more calm. We need to take it down a notch. Not everything and every time you need to make war. Practice peacefulness. So... If somebody come against you, you don't have to go in attack mode. There are several different directions you could choose to go or to take the situation. So unless this situation requires you to really do something, and I mean that it seriously requires you to do something, like maybe somebody is attacking you and you need to defend yourself, then you need to just find another way. As Christian, we must always search for the most peaceful solution to everything because we represent God of peace. In fact, God said that he will take care of things for us. Vengeance belongs to him, not you. So brethren, as we consider this passage this morning, I pray that we will not allow it to just blow away with the wind but may we acknowledge and accept what the lord is trying to say to us today and may we receive his word with humility and thankfulness because he called us to one body which is him and so we must not be divided because god is not divided amongst himself what do i mean it means if all of us are called a part of the same body of Christ, each of us, whatever we do, it must send the same message that we represent God and that the things that we are doing, it is in line with God and what he asks us to do. That's it. Okay? So may God help us and may we listen to him and may we follow his instruction because because it will only work out better for us in the end. May God bless you and keep you. Amen.